Welcome to the newest episode of The Friendship Stop. We are your hosts for today's show. I am Brock Bonnet. And I am Val Gonzalez. In today's show, we will get to view these students again and their work in audio and video production class at the ninth grade center. So let's start things off with a look at some videos we have recently made, but with a different equipment set than we usually would use. Yes, I won. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Prove it. Well, paper covers up rock. I don't agree on that. Well, that's how the game works. No, because the rock can beat paper. Well, that's not how the game works. Yes, it does. No, it's not. Okay, that's it. I challenge you to a rock, paper, scissors battle. What? Fine. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, man. It's fine. Let's go have some lunch. Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, let's go. Hey, guys. Y'all want to play rock, paper, scissors? Why not? Because we had a big battle, so how about you scooch over there? and go so bother so well because we are going to know the day of rock, paper, scissors. Okay. People these days. No kidding. and stay in the football team. But other than that, he's just a jerk. Sure, he's the only jerk in my life. I've ever hey, are you, you calling me a jerk? Because I mean, I can be rude sometimes, but that doesn't mean I'm a jerk. Hey, you can look at your past too. I have also seen that before. Well, that doesn't mean- Hey, there, there you are, my hey. man. Come here, buddy. Hey, uh. that's it. Dude. I found the perfect toilets for Smash Man. I got a All bunch right. of sticks in my pocket. We gotta go do this, man. Yeah, Come that on, But right now I'm in some really, really hot water, and if you don't tell them, man, I'm gonna get in trouble. I can't do that again. No, 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 not this time. Hot water. Oh, so you were the one 
that glued everything down in the in the lounge. Well, it might have been me, but you know what? Uh, Derek here did it too. What? No, 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 no. What's going on here? He's accusing me of trying to glue down everything in the kitchen lounge like he did. Uh, yeah, Derek's been in class with me the whole time. He can't have done it. So it was you. Since last time, we were challenged by our instructor, Mr. Rush, to create a short film based off of the words to our favorite songs. We were also challenged to create a video based solely off of an older model of a photography camera. Here's how we did. But I'm lazy, so. My arm is just way over there. Mm. Whoa, is this really an old antique? Yeah, I bet it's really expensive. I would pay like $1,000 for that. Well, I'd pay like $2,000 for that. I'll pay for $3,000 for that. Well, I'd pay like $4,000 for that. I'll pay for $5,000 for that. I'd pay like $10,000. I would pay for $18,000. That's a lot of money. But I would pay like $25,000. <laughs> I'll pay $165. Hey, get back here. Carry on, my wayward son. There will be peace when you're done. Just lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Once I rose above the, the noise and the confusion, just to get a glimpse behind this illusion, I was swearing even higher. But I flew too high. Though my eyes could see, I was still a blind man. Throughout my mind could think I was still was a madman. But I flew too high. Though my eyes I could see, I was still a blind man. Though my eyes 
my mind could think I was still was a bad man. In here, the voices when I'm dreaming, I can hear them say. So there you are, shuffling through a stack of resumes and you come to mind. This is it, first impression, my way in. But uh, here's the thing, can my resume show you how I truly stand out? Can one piece of paper really tell you my whole story? Like that I was studying going to night school while working two jobs just to help my parents pay for groceries. Or how any time there was an opportunity, I was the first one to step up. Because I wasn't gonna let my life, my circumstances dictate who I was gonna become. And all of that, that determination, the commitment, the drive, that's me. And that's something you just can't put on paper. Look beyond the resume, and discover new ways to develop great talent like me. I understand. I know it's not your typical resume. Okay, well. But candidate. But I've been working double shifts just to pay for books. I've been raising my two little brothers. I'm determined, driven, motivated. Isn't that what you're looking for? Look beyond the resume and discover new ways to develop great talent at gradsoflife.org. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. After we completed these challenge videos, we were then asked to create an extreme sports video based off of our footage. I, our footage, our instructor provided for us. He also taught us in the process how to time remap. The process of slowing down or speeding up time in videos to create epic and suspenseful events. Let's see what the result was.
we get strawberries? Okay. Hey, let's check out this park. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> to find a great local park or forest near you, go to discovertheforest.org. This could be real. It's coming! Run! In a world where we watch natural disaster movies instead of preparing for them, a natural disaster could be coming soon to a town near you. So, before you watch another movie trailer, or dresser how to, or quiche cooking show, or whatever, take a minute and build something that matters. Click below to build a natural disaster plan for your family. While we may have fun at the ninth grade center creating videos, we do find out what current events are taking place here as well. Here to tell us what happens for the recent CMN drive to take place is Mrs. Tracy Loper. So, I just think it's a really important organization because it helps so many um, kids that we are even unaware of. We have a lot of students actually in our district that have been benefited by Children's Miracle Network and so I think it's important to give back to that organization so that they can continue to help kids that are in need. Well, I was nominated but I felt that it was my calling to, you know, participate and help out and do something good for the community, for their school. I would say sometimes it's just hard to make sure that we get the word out. We try as much as possible to make announcements at school, to put things on social media, but just to make sure that people know that it's an important cause and that they can contribute in multiple ways and even benefit from it themselves. So I would say that sometimes reaching out can be the hardest part as far as making known why it's important and just how important that it can be. I think it is fun because it actually has a lot of benefits for people who participate and you might even be able to miss out on a little bit of class. So it's important to donate because there are so many kids that we can help by donating to the Children's Miracle Network um, from infants that are born early that need to spend time in the NICU um, to kids and even teenagers that have accidents or somehow get hurt and have to stay in the hospital for long periods of time. It provides the equipment that they need, it provides their families with a place to stay. So I think it's important to be able to help with that because we were all called to work in a school and so we want to help kids in any way that we can give back we would like to. Um, it's important to donate to CMN because we want to be able to help out the families and children in need. Now we want to show you a fun feature story we made. Let me to school, as long as they come to school, 
they're always happy. But you know, there's some bad ones, some good ones. The most majority of them are really good. They're nice. I talk to every single one of them. I know a couple of them. So some people that used to go to this school, they come back there and they work at different places and they say hi to me too. The sign of the on that one is to address the students stealing the drinks. So basically, they want to go to the counter first before they grab the drinks. Because some kids, they will just steal it. Even right now, you know, they would just grab it, walk to the back of the line, put it in the backpack, and then walk it in. But it's fine, you know, I don't want to. You see, the reason why I don't call the police is because I don't want to put them in a bad position. If I call the police, it's going to get their parents, you know, they might, they'll be laughed at and joked around in school. I don't want to do that because I know how it feels. That's why I don't do that. So I just told them about the steal. But you know, some kids they still do it no matter what. So that's why we put the sign up there. It's been up there for five years already. We put up there just to address the stealing. That's it. So yeah, so definitely a very good uh, relationship here with the school and stuff like that. Yes, because you know, obviously I would have taught them to some kids, but there's no point in doing that because you know they're gonna go home, get a ticket, pay like what twelve times the amount. And plus whoever's here at the moment find out that they got a ticket for stealing and then they're going to be even made fun of that school. So I, I feel, I get it. You know, that's why I don't do that. So if I catch them, I'll just tell them, look, don't do this again. Or if, you, if I catch you one more time, I'm going to just gonna CT you with a criminal trespass. From the posters that the kids come over here, we, yeah. buy, we buy them all. I don't care if it's from Lubbock High, or Friendship High, or even for Auto High, or even Ropes. They come here and you know, say, oh, can, would you buy a $25 poster? I will buy it. Yeah, very nice. Alright. No, friendship is a nice school. And you guys are lucky to be in that school. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you guys. Moving away from a fun story, we have brought back a panel of students to express their thoughts and attitudes toward the upcoming STAR test. Hello everyone, welcome to the discussion segment of our show. I'm Ivan Salinas. Let's see who we have on today's discussion panel. I'm Juan Torres. I'm Brock Bonnet. I'm Val Gonzalez. And I'm Spencer Brewer. Our topic today is about the English star test. The test is already upon us, and quite frankly, that's a little scary. What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, it's pretty scary. And you would have like anxiety about it, but if you've been paying attention and doing your work right, then I would say you should be all right. There's no need to freak out about it or overthink it. I agree. Also, it kind of dawns on people, you know, it really gets them overthinking about this big test and how we will approach it and what, we'll, what it will do for us next year. Well, you just have to go to the start test with a good mentality and just stay calm and just do it, man. I like this. You do? Yeah. Why? Because you get to like take everything you learn and kind of just like dump it out. Because sometimes when I take tests, I can like whiz through them. If I have everything like memorized real good, I think it's fun, honestly. I agree so with that. So it's fun for you because you get to take everything you learned and you get to... Yeah, just kind of put it out. Yeah. I don't know, it's fun. Cool. That's the first time I ever heard a, heard a kid and say that like exactly a start test. Like one said, you know, People need to, we need to go into this test with a good mentality, you know, with that healthy mindset of, I will pass this test. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it. You just have to have a positive mind mentality. But even still, it's a huge test that we've been preparing for all year. So it's a little daunting to think that it's coming upon us still. It's next week. It's so close to being, to being here. Something that we don't need to do, but to be honest, it will it will help us on our star test. You know, it'll help us. Dang it! It's there to help us. Yeah. Yeah, it's not there to hurt us in any way. It's there to build us up. It's there to help us prepare even more for this test. Spencer, what do you think? I'm probably gonna feel anxious the day of it, yeah. but right now I'm just thinking about not thinking about it. So once it's it's inevitable, I know it's gonna come. So it helps to take your mind off yeah. of it. Sometimes I think about like 
No matter what, it's gonna happen, so, you know. Well, you just have to walk in the star test with just a good mentality, because if you walk in there with a bad mentality saying like, oh, I'm gonna fail and I can't do this or whatever, then it's really gonna happen. Like, you're really gonna fail because you keep telling yourself that you're gonna fail just going in the star test with a bad mentality. But if you go in the star test with a good mentality, like, yeah, I can do this and I can pass and make it to, you know, next grade, then... You know, waking up to a good breakfast, that will help a lot too. You know, it gets your brain running, it gets you in a good mood to go to that test and, you know, do everything you can to pass. I believe in all of y'all. I believe that all of y'all, especially the students who are watching this, can succeed. All you gotta do is, like they said, eat well, practice, listen to your teachers, and mostly pray, and hopefully your prayers were answered I like what Ivan said. We just have to, we have to have hope that we can get through this. I also like what Juan said. We have to go in feeling confident in ourselves, that our teachers have prepared us, have prepared us, and that we will be able to succeed. That's not really all that much to it. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Don't freak out about it. Just stay calm and go into a star test with a good mentality. And that's pretty much it. Plus, it'll be over soon. Like, once that test is done, it's... You don't have to worry about it. So yeah, you don't have to worry about the test. Next year. Yeah. I mean, like, but at least, like, when you finish the star test and all, you, can, you at least know that school's going to be out in a couple of weeks, though. Yeah. Because to be honest... Well, that's for today's discussion. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. We'll see y'all in the next episode. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our show. If you like our show, be sure to follow us on the web at friendship.tv and on Facebook. We will see you on the next edition of The F-Stop. <laughs>